Yes. In yes. small towns yes. and yes. growing up in them. And, uh, Ooh, yeah. 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 Yes. It's, it's about a, it's about a too, traversing. <laughs> they still smell funny. Yeah. <laughs> they smell weird everywhere. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is about a particular conversation I had with someone who was growing up in Wisconsin, and it made me really sad. <laughs> There's a girl in Rhinelander who needs Kathleen Hanna cause she doesn't think that girls can sing rock and roll. Sing rock and roll songs. Well, I don't think they got bikini killer records in small town Wisconsin. <laughs> record shops. But that's where they need them now more than ever so. If there's girls still growing up in this world to believe they can't sing rock and roll, I don't want to live in this world anymore. You know I don't want to live in this world anymore. Hey, back It's a song based on Mississippi John Hurt song. Oh, play it, play it. The idea of it really like, <laughs> is that people help uh, me make it up as we go along. Uh, but if, if people are ready to do that, then we should do it. It's, it's kind of hard. All right, all right I'm gonna say that one until the end. I'll play a couple. I'll play a couple more songs, and we'll, we'll try that one out. Uh, all right, I'll just play. I'll play a song about being very shy, which I am a large portion. Of. <laughs> really? Tonight I'm an alley cat, yeah More afraid of you than you are of me But if you leave some food out on the porch I might stay till there's nothing left to eat I'd be sitting a lot alone at a lunch table in high school If I wasn't sitting alone at a punk show in Asheville Hey, hey, hey Tonight the upper left hand side of my chest Has a hole as big as the one in my pockets I might have kissed you wearing a bulletproof vest But hell, you kiss, kiss like, like a rocket I'd be a teenage virgin Jerking off in my bedroom If I wasn't a 20 year old virgin That doesn't have a bedroom hey, hey, hey. business jam then I think we should do it yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the structure of the song will become clear very quickly yes. and then, you know anyone anyone who wants to just take their turn and sing their verse all right this is based on a song by my man Mississippi John Hurt who is like punk as fuck before punk rock existed by decades by decades punk rock I don't know. <laughs> nobody knows uh, we're, all, we're all part of it somehow but I don't think any of us know here exactly <laughs> Baby, and it ain't nobody's business but my own. 
gonna move out west, gonna move out west, and do my best. <laughs>
want is neighborhoods where they don't have to get called when the shit goes down. Cause our friends, they are enough, and our neighbors have enough. Yeah. And finally, we're enough. and being really punk about it. I don't believe in cops, bosses, or politicians. Some call that anarchism, I call it. I've been a fucking hard to beat. <laughs> I do believe in freedom and never giving up on my methods, madness, or call them luck. I do what I got to. Just the label to breathe. If you can quit your job and you can do a little breathing with me. change the world, but I can tell you about a couple that changed me, and so tonight we're gonna fuck 
It just rained here. It just rained here. Uh, desert rains are different than most of your places' rains. <laughs> it rains for minutes. Uh, oh, I am so sore. I am so sore. Between yesterday's workouts and yesterday's just epic massage, massage, uh, massage session uh, with Dave, Oh, yeah. Caboose. That a girl. Um, <clears throat> Debbie. Um, I would be happier if, like, it was still raining. Um, if, if, if it was still down, if it was still pouring, I probably just would have called the show. Truth and matter. I probably just would have, like, gone out and enjoyed the, the fucking rain. Uh... So, uh, fucking a, a <clears throat> let's see, we got it a bit ago, a couple of nice bouts of thunder, hoping for more, yeah, hey Ace, thank you Ace, I hope you're well Ace, Jesus Christ, fucking, what are you doing waking me up, fuck, I'm in, I'm in the middle of a taking a nap here, god damn, Damn fucking inconsiderate raiders making noises, waking me up and shit. Uh, how was your, um, how was your stream, Alex? Fucking, how was, how did everything go? I uh, just have the whole show you broadcasting the rain while we chat on your phone. I know, right? Fucking sit outside in the, uh, the alcove. Ugh. I don't want to catch anything. I'm not gonna bite you. I'm gonna catch something. Rabies or something. Tetanus. I don't know. COVID. You're a fucking bat after all. <coughs> ah! Wayne says you'll pass out on the stream and we'll wake up with cope. <laughs> we'll wake up. I'll wake you up with cope. Yeah. That'd be nice. Just. Ah, uh, oh man, oh I don't know. Are there any fucking stories I won't want to talk about? Um, I mean, you put it in commons, right? That's where I read it, right? Oh, congratulations! Oh my god, wait a second. I'm pretty sure I've heard this. Oh. So, good job. I mean, good luck. It's a whole thing over there, for apparently. Um. <laughs> Thank you, Alana. Thank you. Uh, Y'all want to see the ballerest um, spa room ever? 
Apparently it's in Spain or some shit. All I know is like I need one of these. Get the fucking text off the screen. Yeah, it's an indoor spa based. Yeah, it's a heated pool. Yeah, I, I'm 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 all in on that. I'm like, can I can I get that? Oh man, I'm tired. Hey Carpe. I'm fucking tired, y'all. What are we gonna do that I don't have to try hard? I know I put fucking theory read Wednesday and shit in the title, but like what am I gonna do? I don't wanna try hard today. I'm so sore. Ugh. Like, how much? I mean, why, why a Twitter link? Just link to the thing. All right. Um. Like, I mean, most nicotine. Like, can we define this? Whatever. Good luck with it. Oh, yeah. It's Wednesday for you guys. Ah, uh, this is kind of pipe tobacco. What's up, Dig? How much lead is in that pool? It's like in a fucking five-star resort in Spain, a lot of, like, none. Oh... Uh, Thank you, Caboose. <laughs> also. Um, oh. ah, so yeah. uh, polio. Traces of polio were, was found in um, London. In the London sewage system. Uh, it's usually this stuff doesn't count for pipe of cigars. So my rollies are pipe tobacco. I do dick. I don't know. Fucking... I don't even, like, it doesn't even really, like, outline the rules. Here's the link. 95%? I don't know, maybe? That's just, yeah. Either way. Fucking. There we go. Yeah, yeah, uh, traces of polio was found in the London sewage. Um, cause that's just something we monitor. Um, Becton Sewage Treatment Works in London. They stress the risk to the public is extremely low. Um, but yeah. That Carpe, good luck. You got me. Oh, fuck me. I'm tired. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm properly like, exhausted here. Um, my, uh, my protein shake just sort of hit digestion and is like sucking a good portion of fucking uh, metabolic energy away from my brain at this point. I mean, they, uh, I mean, didn't they find, uh, just find ground zero for the black plug? Like we searching for shit? I dig. I don't know. Oh, fuck me. Oh, I did find that amusing. Did Texas secede yet? Despite what everybody else wants? No, Texas has not seceded yet. Go look at my home state. <clears throat> Boom. Why is it not? There we go. All right, here's Vermont. <clears throat> a 
fucking Karina. Thank you. Um, I don't know why it didn't pop. Fucking more chickens over here. More chickens over here. More chickens and cows. More cows. Then people. Oh, uh -huh, no, dig. It fucking poured. It poured for like, you know, the requisite five minutes. Yeah, it's it's wet out. God, I'm fucking... Oh, this chick. Wait till y'all see this shit. God, it was saved because the fucking mods deleted it, fucking assholes. There we go. You see my outfit? I got a fucking ticket for indecent exposure in Winfield, Louisiana. Okay, indecent exposure. All of my bits are covered. The fuck? Are you kidding me? At a family event where there's alcohol being literally handed out for free, and that's a family event, and three female cops came up to me and gave me a fucking ticket. I live in mile down the road. They literally could have just been like, hey, ma'am, could you put some clothes on? And I would have been like, yeah, cool. I'll be right back. But no, they stood there and gave me a fucking ticket for indecent exposure. Are you kidding me? As soon as I, <clears throat> well, yes, Bama Zippy, but as soon as I heard three female cops approached her and ticketed her, you know, there's also some small town dynamics at that, right? Like, you know, you know, you know, you jealous, fucking be beast, jealous bitches. Yeah. You know, there's some small town fucking power dynamics at play there. Fucking, she fucking sweethearts out there rocking that shit. And three fucking female cops come up. That's some shit. Uh, my husband be here, man. Oh, uh, yeah, that's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. Oh, uh, <clears throat> did you hear we, um, I don't know, right, Crimson? Um, did you hear that um, fucking we apparently taxpayer money can go to religious schools now? Because apparently the separation of church and state was only a suggestion. Um, so I look forward to our taxpayer funded madrasas. Um, when can, can we get the satanic temple to get something set up? When do we get the satanic like school? I want, I want, I want a satanic uh, high school. Is that a thing? Can we get that happening? Yeah, like, I want I want all that. I want a madrasa down the street from fucking Lauren Boebert's house. Uh, you know? Yeah. Satanic Montessori. <laughs> oh, that would be amusing. Satan scholarship. Ugh. Thank you for the ball. You'll have white Christian madrasas within six months. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, we already do. Stevie's, it's, it's not even, it's not even a fucking attempt. Wow, did I? Oh my God. Typing is just amazing today. All right, so which which ones? Um, First Academy in Orlando. No. Um, give me. Oh, okay. So it is actually. All right. All right. All right. Uh, First Academy Orlando. Yeah. <coughs> so apparently this one 
Here's one. Straight up. It's classified as a segregated school still. A religious uh, a religious school that is uh, 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 racially segregated. It's in Florida. Who would have guessed? Um, I wonder what prayer they do in the AM. Uh... Um, no, well, a lot of, madrasa is just, um, Arabic for school. That's it. So it's like, um, um, Sharia law. Law law. Uh, the satanic Bible and the ritual book that goes with it. I'm gonna start a Sabbath. A Sabbath school. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, we, I, you know. Jesus, fuck me. <laughs> just exhausted, honestly. <laughs> I'm thinking about just, you know what? Yeah, I'm thinking about fucking around with uh, the stream here. We might do something else. Oh, let's see. I might do a single player sniper elite run. I don't know. Uh, I know a fair group of uh, people that want this wouldn't want the Hebrew schools popping up suddenly. Oh, fuck me. Because of Barney, I, uh, I knew Hebrew ABCs before English. Barney taught Hebrew? Wait, like Barney the dinosaur. You love me. Wait, I love you. You love me. That shit? Fuck was Barney teaching Hebrew? Holy shit. It really was teaching Hebrew. Okay. Learn something new every day. Yeah, we all had fucking our version of the Barney uh, perversion, right? Look, my mom was a pathological liar in my childhood is a fever dream. Thanks for verifying it. Yeah, there's like Israeli co-production. Like straight up, like there was uh, Barney go for a ride in the car in Hebrew, like, and it's official. Like there was apparently Barney and friends had a Hebrew friend, Hashivaram Shel Barney. It's an Israeli co-production of Barney and friends. Like apparently Barney was like integrated. Uh, sorry, aristocrats. Oh, 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 God. Oh, God. Vagina havers, I'm sorry. Canada, what the fuck are you doing again? God damn it, Canada. Canada has got some retarded ass shit. Um, Barney Soros funded confirmed. Um, Canada's been doing it again. So, another complaint apparently has been um, filed filed against a Saskatchewan judge who ruled on a sexual assault case. So a judge, uh, another complaint has been filed against a judge who recently found a former Re uh, Regina doctor. And, uh -huh, Reg I know it's Regina. Um, by the way, Regina is like one of the most racist t uh, cities in fucking Canada towards indigenous people, apparently. I learned this from fucking marketplace investigations, goddammit. Um... Fucking uh, f a former Regina a doctor not guilty of sexually assaulting several patients. The uh, logic behind this one is great. Um, one of five women who accused Ukabam of touching them inappropriately during a medical exam. Um, <clears throat> in her complaint about the judge, the woman noted that the former doctor's lawyer argued that the victims confused rectal penetration with vaginal penetration given the proximity of the location of the two body parts, and the judge accepted this argument. 
to, you know, during the middle of a rectal exam, the doctor started fingering him in the fucking cooch. And the judge is like, how would they know the difference between their asshole and their vagina? Women are stupid. They don't know the difference. What? How? 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 How would we not, you know, how would we know this? So, you know, um, the judge uh, found her testimony unreliable, um, referred to her panicked state during the alleged assault, and the judge buys into, quote, the outdated belief that women are too emotional and irrational to be believed. Um... Sherman, Judge Sherman, um, said the case came down to the reliability of evidence and he found no reason why he should not believe Ukebom, who was logical and consistent in his testimony where the women <clears throat> were not, apparently. Uh, this is, by the way, apparently, like, you know, not the first time this judge has let a rapist walk. Apparently, this judge has a history of letting rapists walk. So... Was he wearing one of those powdered wigs? Oh, do, do, do Canadians still wear the fucking wigs? No, they don't wear the wigs. They just wear stupid shit. They look like fucking Santa Claus up in this bitch. Look at this. No, they don't wear the, wear the wigs, apparently. They just wear goofy-ass fucking clothes. Looking like Mrs. Claus up in this bitch. Um, so let's see. What was this guy's name? Fucking Sherman. Um, sure. No. There we go. Um, there we go. Court of Queens Bench Justice Brian Sherman acquitted the whatever. See this asshole. Jesus Christ. Okay. Fair amount of complaints. Finding a picture of this guy, though. Not that easy. Hmm. This doctor, uh, doctor, this dude, fucking judge has seen a lot of sexual assault cases. Um... Red coats. Uh, yeah, basically beast. I thought for their, um, for like their highest courts, they still do. No, that was their highest court. The, the, the fucking, um, uh, Mrs. Claus looking motherfuckers. Um, those, that's their highest court. That's the Supreme Court. Ho, 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 motherfucker. You don't have any respect for the law. I mean, how can we? For fuck's sake. You're dressed up like Mrs. Claus. I mean, yeah, well, a lot of you go for a malpractice, I guess. Um... an actual throne. Jesus Christ. <sighs> I mean, Zippy, it is dressing up for some uh, legal shit. It's fucking, I mean, they just, I bet that outfit predates the fucking claws story. <laughs> I bet that fucking story predates. Looks like Target, what they selling. Um, a false sense of security. Oh, they, they didn't. That's not. That's not. No. Canada, no. They're not independent. Canada's not independent. Um. 
Were they trying to compete with the Pope? I mean, there's no competing with the Pope. Are you shitting me? The Pope, the Pope's a fuck. <laughs> I mean, ha <laughs> ha. Pope's got gold. Pope's got swag and got gold. Just always surrounded by gold. Just fucking in the background of the Pope, there's just always gold. Yeah, I don't I don't hear that kind of bullshit, Kaiser. Is the Queen still on their money and fucking like is the Queen still the head of their fucking Institution? Yes? Well, then fuck off. They're not independent. I'm fucking sick. She's mostly figurehead. She's symbolic. Oh, great. You've got a golden tick on your ass. What a better defense that was. They're still Britain's bitch. Just like Australia is. When the queen can step in and basically upend your entire system of governance because she wants to. Yeah, I mean, fuck off. She's on their plastic money. Um, yeah, I, I... <laughs> oh, I don't know. Dude, dude, that fucking story about the dude who was caught stealing sausage rolls is fucking insane. Uh, for those that follow gaming news, Bobby Kotick has uh, been reelected uh, to the board for another year. For those of you who know who Bobby Kotick is, he'd be Activision Blizzard. <clears throat> I mean, I mean, First openly trans cheerleader for the NFL. What team? It's like Carolina something. Don't know the logo. Maybe? I I'll I'll put the fucking image on screen. You tell you tell me nonsense. One of the sports ball people tell me what the fuck I'm looking at. I don't know what fucking logo that is. Is that Panthers? Panthers. Cool. There you go. There's your answer. God. Um. Uh, Walata. Um. Football. Football. <sighs> if you're keeping track of the um, the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Um, just FYI, um, Japan has tracked eight Russian and Chinese warships near its ter uh, territory. Uh, near its territory, eight Russian and Chinese warships near Japan. Just you know, something to consider. Something to consider. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh. Are we going to war? Ah, not us, not this moment. <laughs> Russia still has warships left? I mean, kinda ish. If you can call them warships. I hate life. <laughs> okay, Marcus. Um. Kaiser. No Kaiser. Uh, 
<laughs> Nonsense. Japan super advanced sex robots will swim out there and take care of business. Uh, duct tape and cannons. Got it. Oh. So. A Texas judge ruled that a woman is entitled to $60,000. Makes no difference. $60,000 after a SWAT team destroyed her home pursuing a fugitive. Um, let's see if I can get some pictures of like how fucked her home was. Uh, no, no pictures. Um, fucking, yeah. She, uh, let's see. Of course they refused to pay. Uh, okay. Fugitive hid out in Vicky's house when she was not home. Vicky's daughter informed the police that the fugitive was in Vicky's house. They arrived on the scene. Uh, Vicky's fence was knocked down. Doors were smashed. Windows were shattered with tear, ga tear gas canisters. The insurance company refused to pay for the damages caused by the government. And the city of McKinney refused to pay as well. Today, our federal jury found that the total amount of the damage the city caused was $59,565.59 and ordered the city to finally make Vicky whole. Jesus fucking Christ. Mm. All right, email. <laughs> Ugh, zippy, no emotional suffering. No. <sighs> I like to see this. I like to see this. For nearly nine months, Tenacious Unicorn Ranch, a safe haven for trans and queer Coloradans, faced violent threats from right-wing extremists. Until, that is, they turned to their local anarchist for help. Final straw came the evening of March 5th when two groups of men quietly traversed the quarter mile dirt road to the front gate of the ranch. One pair were caught in the, uh, by the night guard around midnight, fiddling with the light and lock on the gate. Several hours later, two more people clambered across a field flanking towards the main house. Quote, our guy James, a pseudonym, spotted them. He hit him with a spotlight, told him, remove yourselves or die. And they ran like jackrabbits. I credit him for potentially saving our, our lives that night, Penny, uh, Penny Wilg so, uh, uh, tells me. It was, uh, it was a literal wake-up call. Nearly 200 alpaca, dozens of sheep, plus ducks, chickens, dogs, and cats. But also a ton of gear you don't normally see in an agricultural setting. A scoped rifle, a couple of AR-15s, pistols, bulletproof vests, enough ammunition to launch a hunting expedition. Some days amid the, bleeding, uh, amid the bleeding of the alpaca, you can hear the distant ping of a 5.56 round hitting metal as the ranch hands drill long range sh uh, shooting in the background, in the backyard. Let's see. I came to Penny vehemently anti-gun. <laughs> but after that 4th of July protest and everything that happened, I bought the biggest rifle I could get my hands on. Logan fellow uh, ranchers t don't trust local law enforcement, telling me they feel uneasy because of a few negative encounters with deputies coupled with Custer County Sheriff Sh uh, Shen Byerly's own behavior, which includes lying about the group's behavior to the media and his admission that he spoke at an Oath Keepers rally. Yup.
Five months after the attack, Vogue says that a series of calm, uh, a sense of calm has returned to the ranch. She attributes that calm to the silver lining of the chaos. When Tenacious Unicorn started posting and tweeting about the incursion on March, allies emerged from the woodwork almost immediately, enthusiastic to join the fray and fight back. Dozens of people from across Colorado and beyond, many of them anti-fascists and anarchists, reach out to Log to volunteer for guard duty. Some sympathetic strangers sent money to pay for cameras and new fencing along the exposed edges of the ranch. Others delivered body armor, ammunition, and gun, ex- gun accessories, such as Chris Belinsky a 39-year-old blacksmith in Kansas who drove to Tenacious Unicorn to hand deli- uh, to deliver handmade bulletproof plates and first aid kits. Violence towards trans people and how it's increasing. Uh, fucking... A lot of the Boogaloo folks reached out to us. We had to say no, although the gesture was uh, hugely appreciated. Logue says it was a shock. <laughs> um... Like, thanks, guys, but no. <laughs> really? <laughs> Could you don't not exist? Be great. Um. <clears throat> Aww. So good, Alpaca. Oh, uh, let's see. Hmm. Cool. Good on him. An anarchist alpaca ranch in Colorado. Uh, armed left, best left. I ended up t- uh, talking to one of my family friends, an ex-soldier, who was a conservative. We started talking about Ukraine, and honestly, we have many different opinions outside what we we're actually going to fight and uh, going to fight in. He said that they're American near the border, and it would only take the Russians to fire accidentally. I don't necessarily do true. I think we'd uh, launch a proxy war more than anything else. It's possible, Crimson. Uh, that's the best phrase I've heard all day. It says a resolution. You know what? Can I just, like, can I just check out on that note? Like, can I, like, do something else? Like, let's watch a video or play a vi- uh, play a game or something. Um, Like, why should we, like, read more headlines that are going to fucking want us, make us to just want to fucking off ourselves, right? A fucking safe haven for trans and queer folk at an alpaca ranch run by anarchists got harassed and threatened by bigots. And when they fucking assaulted them in the middle of the night, they fucking put up. They're like, uh, you might not want to do that. So they fucked off. <laughs> I think I think we've got our high note for the for the stream, right? Like yeah, fucking trans, trans alpaca, queer alpaca farmers in Colorado chased off fucking right wing bigots with a fucking AR-15. I'm yeah, I'm taking the dub and fucking walking on that one. Like that's we're done. I saw that zippy that alpaca to the capybaras of Colorado. <laughs> oh fuck me, I'm so sore from yesterday. Oh, oh it's been kind of shit news recently yeah yeah oh he oh, may all right wait don't we have two oh jesus whatever oh yeah, yeah there's two tinas in fucking chat right now a feel good murica story right that's about as feel good as murica gets right it's pretty much yep that's all the news of today nothing else that happened can be important anymore Oh, man. Fuck, what are we going to do? Yeah, because that's, that's, I'm done there. Do we have anything they want to watch? Um. Let's see. Yeah, I just want to watch fucking Alex Honnold fucking climb shit. I'd be perfectly happy doing that. Jesus, Good Mythical Morning is still going. I'm surprised. That show is fucking... Uh, the fact that that show is still going. It's amazing. Um, You've got something for me in memes. Hang on. God damn it. There we go. Um... The Kid's Guide to Fighting Socialism? Oh, Trump's Speed Dating. 
All right. Fucking, there we go. Welcome to speed dating. Each of you is gonna meet for three minutes, then you're gonna hear this buzzer, okay? And when that goes off, we're gonna move to the next table. Ready to find some love? Tana. What are you doing here? I was asked to speak at this hotel. It turns out there's some type of pussy banquet going on. Can you hold one second? Just give me a second. <laughs> fuck you, you fucking piece of shit, ugly, fat, orange, fuck. Social media. They had to take it away, I was too good. In fact, go ahead, put it back up, put it back up. People say I've got bad makeup. Tana looks like someone painted her face like a clown. That's what we're gonna call her, Tana. It the clown. She looks like him. She looks like she should be in a sewer bothering children. I mean, to be perfectly honest, Dig, he kind of was, wasn't he? He kind of was. Fucking figuring out how to how fucking social media is toxic and speed running that. There is an argument to be made that fucking Donald Trump was too good at social media. <laughs> it's legit. It's, there's something there to that argument, at least. You are utterly disgusting. I'm disgusting. I saw you walk in, I said, who's this? She, is this a pig? I didn't know they were letting pigs in. You're a dictator. Old sage, what a loser. What a loser she was. Somebody needs to tell her that her pussy stinks. When you walked in, I could practically smell you. Your vagina stinks. Smelled you know up the whole room. No one here is gonna go on a date with you. There'll be no problem there, I'll get a date. You There's gonna be so many dates, people. Whoa, this guy has so many dates, you. None. I don't even need a date, but I'll get a date if I want a date. You can go on Tinder. <laughs> there it is. There's Tinder. You go beep boop pop and there's pussy. <laughs> this is pretty exciting. I've never been on a date with a white guy before. Hit the buzzer. I mean, I'm just wondering what it would be like to... <laughs> Horrible president. Terrible human being. Great poster. Something a little, a little smaller. Let me stop you there, Elaine. I don't know who sat in this chair before me. But it stinks. I told her! <laughs> <laughs> You're gay. That's great fucking continuity, though. Hey. Fucking they told her! Smaller. Let me stop you there, Lane. I don't know who sat in this chair before me, but it stinks. I told her! <laughs> That's fucking great. That's actually great. I told her! <laughs> Any interest? You're gay. Hey, blame the dairy industry. I would never suck a guy's dick. <laughs> but if I did, it'd be one of the best sucks he's ever had. A few years ago, women would have the flat butts. Not you, you've got a very nice one. Thank you. You know, I did, I polled very well with the blacks. How am I polling with you? <laughs> I saw you come in, I said, that's the one. The bell of the ball. You're the prettiest one. I'm gonna be completely honest with you here. I'm not that interested in You're the all. ugliest. Do me a favor, could you take your gigantic perfect tits and leave? I don't recall saying I would get a date here, but if I did say that, maybe I will. Oh my God. Hello. <laughs> oh my God. Do you like my shirt? I got to die to the special, the tackle shop. There's a two for one at the tackle, at the tackle shop, the bait and tackle. I can get you one, it's two for one. Wow. How are you, Mr. President? Well, I'm great, especially since you, since you exposed all the, all the Jews that were putting 5G in my brain that wanted the meth. <laughs> since you exposed all the Jews that were putting the 5G in my brain that wanted all the meth. How are you at oral sex? <laughs> Pretty good, to be honest. My teeth come out. Siobhan, how would you like to go on a date? with Donald Trump. Yes, finally. Oh my God, I won. Did I win? I got ahead. Yeah, you know, sometimes you just gotta do it. Oh. Apparently they have one called the last white football team. Where is that basketball coach? Uh, need Where's that fucking clip 
of the fucking basketball coach who like during the interview, it's the funniest shit ever. He's fucking on a losing uh, a losing streak. And the, the, um, he's just, he's just being fucking grilled by the post game, um, press and he's just exasperated. And this fucking poor, dumb white dude just goes, I don't, I don't know. I mean, we got to get some more black players on this team. Dude got fucking raked over the coals for it, raked over the fucking coals for it. But God, it reminds me of that fucking clip. Ah, uh, Crimson. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, this is salute. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck it, eh? That was good, though. That was funny. Um, interesting. Seeing what comes up on the recommendations for that. <clears throat> And what was the the kid's guide to fighting socialism? I've seen that before, right? That's Huckabee. I'm pretty sure that's Huckabee. Parents and grandparents, Cuba is just another example of the damage that socialism can do to a country. But the radical left is pushing it on America. Kids need to know why it won't work. And Mike Huckabee wants to help by sending you the Kid's Guide to Fighting Socialism free for a limited time. This important gift will help kids learn why socialism is bad for America and how they can help fight back. It's part of a new gift bundle that includes a free magazine and video lesson, too. To learn more, just visit KidsFightSocialism.com. That's KidsFightSocialism.com. Kids. So the trends are quite clear. The global economy faces some... How, how, how did that lead parents, into that? So the trends... So the trends are quite... Parents and Jesus. Grand- All right. Um, KidsFightSocialism.com. All right. Jesus. Be fucking. Be great if I my typing was fucking on point today. They changed the URL. Like, just let me have a fucking digital copy, man. Oh, oh. So much for one dollar. $21.90 $21.90 per set plus a new issue of Everbright Kids Magazine every mo- each month for $6.50. Cancel any time. Hmm. Yes. Limited time only. Uh, between that and the Prager You Kids channel, I wonder who ripped off who. Yes, capitalism, baby. Oh, man, I'm fucking exhausted. That's why life is a very... <laughs> a lot of... Um, Crimson, do you have any examples of that? Like, you got any names for fucking conservative shows? Because that could be funny. Oh, I remember the ISIS Toyota. Hello? That's the I'm Gillian Keeves. Yes, we have a great collection I remember of ISIS Toyota. Toyotas. But there's one thing I want to make very clear, and it's that we have nothing to do with the terrorists over there in the Middle East right now. And that's why we are the good ISIS. All right, listen, you got to lean into the ISIS thing. It's yes. a good marketing tool. It's a great marketing tool. I agree with Barbie. I think you should be like, here at ISIS Toyota, nice gold chain. we'll behead the competition. Yes. Oh, Jesus. No, we're not doing yes. this. What are you guys talking about? We're not wishing death to any of our enemies. We are wishing death to low, to high prices. Me and Barbie, we can hold AK-47s. Yeah. 
right? No, no. That would be so cool. So I'm holding an AK-47, she's holding an AK-47, you're like, we got the best Toyotas. And I can be, like, be doing that like terrorist turkey gobble thing. You know what I mean? We're like, good at it. enough. At ISIS Toyota, we have nothing to do with that boom. <laughs> terrorist that turkey gobble. I've never heard it described All as we're such. Trying to do is put terrorist you turkey gobble. <laughs> People don't respect you. To the youngsters, I know you're having fun. I used to have fun myself, but there's something you need to know. Stuff like that, that's a load of crap. That's a load of crap. Can, can I be in a commercial? No. Come, come on, why not? Why? It's because I'm black? No, it's not because you're It's because your name is... Ornthal James Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> we don't price gals. But if we find a competitor with a lower price... OJ. A, Cut that. We're not doing I, this. You don't love OJ? What are you saying? He did it? Yeah, he fucking did it. No. Oh, oh, God damn it. All I'm trying to do is get you into a Toyota. We made this. Jesus Christ. Put Isn't that great? Put this yeah. away. We're yeah. in a commercial. Look at it. Oh wear this in the commercial. I'm not wearing that. Why not? There's I wore it on the bus here, dude. You, you know how hard that was for me? You wore this on the bus? Yes, I had to bring it here. That's dedication. Do you know how hard that is to get off? It costs more than the damn car. Like, you're blowing it here. Like, you you're really, yes. Would you quit it? Quit it. I'm losing money on half these things. Cause you and your punk ass kids come down and fuck with our shit. You want an AK-47? Stop fucking with our Toyotas. Come down and buy them like a man. I'm, I'm under a lot of fucking stress. I'll go fucking nuts. We are closed on 9-11. If your dad was real ISIS, you'd be up in heaven right now, covered in virgins. Yeah. But instead, you're a fat fucking virgin covered in used Toyotas. Yeah, that's what I <laughs> Okay, mean, so. I'd like what to fucking rip oh my God. God. Come down to ISIS Toyota or I'll fucking kill myself and everybody here. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, Uncle Daycare. That's these people. I've seen Uncle Daycare before. Yes. I saw that recently. Hi, my fucking Uncle Daycare. Yeah. Creepy ass fucking uncles. Uh, does that one pro-government kid show about the Constitution count? I don't remember what it was called, Crimson. I don't remember what it was called either. So we're both fucking up shit creek at this point. Yeah, Uncle Daycare is funny. Uncle Daycare is funny. Legit. Would you rather give up sex or the TV remote? Sex. Liberty Kids. I want to see it. <laughs> Remote, I lost it already. Um... Oh, the Midnight Ride. Oh, dude, comments are all turned off. Yeah. Midnight Ride's just so apocryphal. It's so apocryphal. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, by all means. <laughs> when the smoking partner asks, it's like, yeah, sure. Here. Uh, restrict. Done. Anyway. Um... Let's see. There you go. Um, I posted a link in chat as newspapers as primary sources, but I mean, I don't expect anybody to fucking, you know, read things, especially that genius. Um, all right. Veggie Tales? Oh, I, you know, I've never watched a Veggie Tales episode. I've never done it. Uh, it's Noah's Ark? I mean, that seems to be, you know what? Hang on. Filters. Um, view count. Pat 
apparently silly songs are the highest viewed things for them. Yeah, silly songs by miles. Yes, yes, we watched Bible Man, actually. Yeah, we watched some Bible Man details. It'll probably be my last, but I've watched an episode of Veggie Tales. We can cross that, let's cross that off the list. Uh, I've, I've officially seen fucking Liberty Kids. I've officially seen fucking Veggie Tales. Oh, Jesus. Uh, code, code Lyoko. <laughs> I used to, I've watched Code Lyoko. I've watched Code, code Lyoko. Um, it was cute. Veggie Tales was superior by far. I don't know if I feel about that, how I feel about that. Is that episode one? You don't know what Code Lyoko is? It's so bad. No, no, no. I already knew it was French. Dude, I already knew it was French. Code Lyoko was made by Frenchies. It was 100% a French animation house. Yeah. Yeah, I already, I already knew that. Yeah, super French. Um, song is a banger. I don't, dis I don't disagree. Uh, <laughs> fucking. Yeah, Code Lyoko. Uh, basically, a bunch of kids um, discover a supercomputer that has an alternative universe in it that has, like, sentient AI running around in it in a couple of different iterations um, that can, like, tra transmat you, like, transmaterialize you over to the digital form and also the digital form into our world. Um, so they bring back a girl from the digital realm. Um, that's, that's what Code, Code Lyoko is about. Okay, are we rolling? Yeah, but we're upside down. Hello, fellow students of Caddick Junior High. Your ace reporters, Millie and Tamiya, are here to bring you an exclusive for today's school news, and it's really big, since, as I'm pretty sure you already know, tonight is the big night, the night of our annual school prom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I do remember Cyber Chase, too. Oh, oh, Marcus, that hurts some people. Some people would be hurt by that, Marcus. I was an adult until I realized Dot Hacks uh, Sign uh, and Code Lyoko were not different names for the same anime. Oh, that would hurt somebody. Um, What I've just done is skip ahead to the discovery of the supercomputer. Oh, and this one kid, I forget the, his fucking name, but he's got fucking swag. Look at this dude. Fuck <laughs> this fucking outfit. 
full on fucking just absolutely fabulous. No, not a girl. Not a girl. To do. Alita? Alita, Alita, it's Jeremy. Do you read me? Hi there. Yeah. We think that Xana has launched an attack. Straight up, Have straight you up femboy anything? representation. No, no. Early 2000s or some but shit like that. But we can take a closer look. Alita, I'm sending Odd. He's coming over solo. Ulrich had to stay behind to watch for any virus action at school. Odd looks ready to go. How are things with you, Ulrich? It looks like we have a problem. A big one. Transfer on. The huge scanner. Virtualization. Yes. <laughs> this is what pro this is what it looks like to program. Hundred percent. Yes. Yes. In game. In world. Ugh is a cat boy. Hundred percent. Jeremy, it's bad, huh? The bear got out of the school. It's, if it's under Xana's control. Ball. It'll only become much madder. It'll go for anybody that's way, around, yeah, Dak, yeah. especially his mortal enemies, like you. Huh? Oh, Yumi. <sighs> you see that? The tower that Xana has activated can't be too far away. Well, uh, not down there anyway. Maybe on the neighboring plateaus. Mm. Oops. Uh, too late. Here come the reception committee. This is the show. Ah. Odd. Take good care of Ailita. It's true. Answer. Will you answer? What's going on? Uh, laser arrows. No! Uh, no! Uh, Odd, you just lost another ten life points. No kidding. Uh, 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 Odd, I'm afraid we haven't any choice. Will you? Sorry, are your parents home? No, they went out. Okay, come on, we can't stay here. Hey, would you mind explaining? We don't have time. Come on! Close the front door, maybe? Yes, it's a giant teddy bear. Uh, uh, odd, be careful. You only have 50 life points left. Uh, laser arrows! Uh, uh, uh. It's so bad. That's Code Lyoko. That's Code Lyoko. It's a serialized show, so it just repeats. Like, every every week, there's going to be a new boss or enemy of the week. Um, rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. That's that's the fucking show. Um, Scooby-Doo pro cop or pro vigilante? Scooby-Doo traditionally shows cops as somewhat incompetent. Um It's Power Rangers meets Tron. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Uh, but, yeah, that's that's Code Lyoko. It's just... Is what it is. Um, they made a... Uh, they made a fucking live-action remake of it that we looked at, and it's just painful. It's fucking painful. Um...
do I do? Oh, it's way worse than the cartoon. So much worse. Et c'est qui ce Xana Un programme extrêmement dangereux. Une sorte de virus qui contrôle l'énergie électrique. Il active les tours de Lyoko pour accéder à notre monde. Il faut qu'on prenne les autres. Oui, je sais pas si je tiens encore longtemps. Yeah, it's, it's rough. Très vite, bande de l'art Allez Faites it's, marcher vos muscles C'est encore rough. un cours de gym ici Allez You know what's worth... Um, You know it's worth watching. Um, I started watching it yesterday. Um, Our flag means death uh, with uh, Taika and Reese. Um, yeah, I started watching uh, Taika and Reese uh, 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 their like pirate show on HBO Max or whatever. Um, it's good. It's good. It takes a minute to hit its stride, but it's. L- legitimately good um it eventually becomes exactly what you expect it to devolve into which is an excuse for taika and uh, reese to hang out there's just literally like their two characters are hanging out at a, at a certain point you're just like oh okay there it is this is an excuse for two like lifelong friends at this point they've been friends for what over 20 years um to just hang out and do something enjoyable Uh, Our flag means death is fantastic and very gay. It is very gay Um, in a few subtle ways too. Not just the overt, holy shit, you know, that was, yeah. Uh, (laughs) um, The only thing that isn't accurate is the uh, boy. Um, A little too old to be in that position. Um, But yeah, other than that, it is, it's legitimately, uh, there's, there's a couple of actors and actresses in it that I was like, Ooh, that was not good acting, like not up to the level of everybody else. Um, but worth watching. There's like eight or 10 episodes or something like that. Totally worth watching. Um, Oh, I don't know. Beast. I don't know if I've ever seen it. Um, Yeah, and yeah, Katrina, it's, it's, dude, the code, code Lyoko evolution is bad. It's fucking rough. Uh, big bad beetle borgs. Oh, I remember that for some reason. Hmm. Let's see. Is there, let me see their, like, transition. I want to see their fucking gear up scene. Squat cat. I think we watched the intro. <laughs> Just stare blankly ahead. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Biker Rats for Mars or whatever the fuck that one was. Yeah. Notes look French. Yeah, I wanted to see the hero shot. Tout a l'air de fonctionner. On a une nouvelle fois donné naissance à Lyoko. 
Tiens. Quoi Xana Non, mes deux territoires ont disparu. Peut-être que les données se sont perdues la dernière fois qu'on a éteint. Je lance le super scan. On saura tout de suite si Xana est de retour. Rien dans les flux de données. Rien sur les capteurs. Bon, voyons les tours. Rien. Aucune tour active. Aucune trace de Xana. Pas de mon père. Avant que t'étais un s'il te plaît. Jesus Christ. My kid's fucking hair. Because she kind of does look like Lilu from fucking Fifth Element, even in the cartoon, Milton. Yeah. Seizure time. Oh, they made Odd way straighter. Holy shit. That kid's Odd. Yeah, dude, they just turned him into an average little straight boy. No, in game, he's still the cat boy. Bon, et puis quand ils auront fini leur petite balade, euh, t'éteindras le super calculateur. On est d'accord Ouais. C'est quoi ce truc Eh, venez voir. Eh, regardez ce... Ulrich, Yumi. Eh, hey, Jérémy, tu me filmes ma planche Yeah. Fucking odd in real life, fucking dressed like full-on femboy shit. Mais là, on dirait qu'elle fait tout ça juste pour retourner sur Lyoko. Je peux la comprendre. Et puis bon, de toute façon, l'essentiel. Yeah, that's a shame. Announcer, he didn't shut it down. No, no, they don't shut it down. It's not a thing they do. Oh, it's not a thing they do. I don't know. I'm just gonna, ch I'm gonna fucking call it. Dude, I'm gonna just fucking end the stream. Dude, I'm okay with that. Um, I might, I, I might play some games and do some stuff on discord. Um, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, yeah, I think we're just going to stop here. It's been, it's been an interesting run. Fucking, we definitely got to see some interesting stuff. Uh, don't forget Colorado anarchist alpaca t queer farmers chased off a bunch of right wing fucking chuds with, uh, rifles. So that was, that's why we stopped doing anything because we had a great headline. Um, never forget. Exactly. So fucking, yeah, definitely a fucking, uh, a dub on that one. I'm just gonna, I'm not, I'm going to raid you guys out. You guys are just going to fucking be free to make up your own minds. Uh, I'm going to take a few minutes here, get some stuff done. And then you may see me on discord. Um, <laughs> rough, for sure. Uh, Catch y'all later. Everybody, take care of yourselves. Bye.